here is a quick update video on the motor controller for the high efficiency Tesla Model S drive unit. Uh, here's the drive unit here, as you can see in the video. There's the differential here, so we're going to look at the rotating differential pin there. Uh, there's the encoder and the three phase leads going to the motor stator and the uh, encoder harness. And that's all we need to control the motor is the three phase leads and the encoder. There's the inverter there, which we're not using at the moment. We are currently using a 2011 Hyundai Sonata inverter that we reverse engineered uh, to get practice before we went hacking the actual Tesla one. And it's turned out very well. So it's just a little 20 kilowatt power stage from the Hyundai, which we're driving with this motor controller. There's the phase leads and the encoder leads coming back to the motor. And uh, so we're just using a little motorcycle Hall Effect throttle. Right now it's set up so that it, it regens it charges the battery at about 30 amps at zero throttle, similar to a regular Model S. And at full throttle, I have it set to just 25 amps, or 25 or 22 amps, because we're just running uh, about 60 volts right now from this battery for testing. So let's see how it goes. So you just twist the throttle a little bit. Make it run. Set the camera up here. All right. Twist the throttle a little bit. So you're looking at the differential, which is a 9.3 to 1 ratio. So every time that pin turns around, you get about 9.3 turns on the motor. And we're running just 60 volts on the battery. So far it's running really well. Even though we're running 60 volts, we're able to get it to almost 10,000 RPM. <clears throat> so here's a real-time log. We have the uh, direct current. We have the torque current, ID and IQ. We have the uh, estimated battery current. And the final one is the uh, motor RPM. So just focus on the third and the fourth one, which is the battery current and the motor speed in RPM. I'm going to try to twist this throttle with one hand here, holding the phone. There we go. So we're only running 25 amps of phase current maximum when the motor should be good for uh, almost a thousand and yet we're able to get and regening back
So it's only taking about three amps of battery current to hold the motor at 10,400 RPM. That's at 60 volts. So it's only about 180 watts. That includes the transmission. As a matter of fact, if we don't set the throttle to do regen when it goes to the neutral position, it, it can take a full one to two minutes for the motor to spin down on its own uh, frictional losses. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.